Hello and welcome to From the Helm, live here at the ASX Small and Mid Cap Conference. I'm Grady Wolf, Market Analyst with Bell Direct. Elsight is a leader in the industry of drone connectivity solutions and today I'm thrilled to be joined by the CEO of Elsight, Yoav Amatar. Yoav, thank you for joining me today. What an exciting time at the ASX Small and Mid Cap Conference you've just presented. For our investors who may not know much about Elsight, could you please give us an overview of the company and what you've been up to recently as well as some news out just today? Oh yeah, absolutely. Lovely to be here. Thank you for having me. And a little bit about Elsight. Elsight is in the highly reliable communication systems. We chose to focus our business on the uncrewed industry basically. So today we're doing everything related to drones, ground robotics, maritime robotics, and I think that we're in the perfect storm at the moment, or we have the perfect storm around us at the moment of how we scale the business because of everything happening around us with the drone industry that on one hand, we all hear it on the news for the bad sometimes, but on the other hand, seeing companies doing like Walmart, doing drone deliveries and yeah. some very exciting, extremely exciting stuff. So uh, we are in a very interesting position. And I always said that, well, not always, that, like I said today in the presentation, we're in, right in the beginning of this uh, big hockey stick in terms of results. And news out today, what did you release today? Yeah, so we had a very good, a very good announcement today. Uh, what we share with the market is one of our largest contracts that we've done in the wow. defense uh, industry, which is not only this first order that we announced today, but also we kind of show what is the trajectory, trajectory of those kind of orders and how it can more than double our revenue um, in the years to come only with a single uh, contract without having getting into all the others, clients and everything. So uh, we put all the figures there in the announcement that can, that can bring us um, more than $5 million wow. US dollars in the next one, two years. So it's a extremely perfect timing and uh, exciting time. It is the way to go forward, especially in the AI space right now. And you do integrate AI into your operations. How has the use of AI really opened up growth potential for LSAT? Yeah, so we're not integrating the AI. It's part of our, it's in the head of our solution. So okay. unlike um, solutions that are based on chat GPT or those infrastructures that we all know, in, in our case, it's part of the actual solution. Oh, wow. So what we do, like I said before, we're doing highly critical communication which is basically means that we, are, we know how to split the data between different channels. And the mechanism or the algorithm that sits there and make those decisions, this is where the AI or well the, the algorithm sits. And this is the core of our product. This is what we're developing. This is what we're known for. And that's our competitive advantage. So it's really in the core of our business. Now, DJI drones are a massive player in the drone industry, and you've recently launched the Dronecom X for Correct. some of their products. Why was this built for their products? So we call the Dronecom X just to make it shorter for both of us, DCX, yeah. right? uh, for the purpose of Much making it more. Much easier for me as well. Yeah. Um, and, and basically, DJI is by far the largest drone manufacturer in the world. Um, being Chinese, we thought or we saw that a lot of uh, countries today put them in the blacklist. That include Australia, US, a lot of countries in Europe. Mm -hmm. And we thought how we can use uh, or use those platforms to enable different type of activities, again, from agriculture to deliveries to inspection or even public and public safety. In relation to DJI, we just kind of understood how the drone work. Uh, develop an aftermarket kit that you can put on the top of the drone and then you can have a much more reliable communication and be able to, to get to new heights so to speak with those drone with those drones so uh, that's another exciting news that we shared with the market just two or three weeks ago what an exciting time now what other products and solutions are in the pipeline for Elsight right now so we are currently focusing on the uncrewed industry like i said before but looking on a, one of our growth trajectories or one of our growth engines is how we go into adjacent or parallel industries and by that we will have to come to the market with new type of um, solutions new product and this is what we're looking for how to on one hand make our product better for existing and new customers but also how we make it more um, more generally available for other type of uh, industries and sectors now you recently released first half results what were the highlights and key points of the first half results for you i think that the top line that's the the biggest the biggest highlights when we're we double the the revenue from uh -huh. The first year of uh, the first half of 23 to the first half of 24, we're seeing the same trajectory, like I said, and that's even before mm -hmm. the announcement that we just discussed uh, a few seconds ago. So that's put us, like I said, in a very interesting setup. Today, Elsight measure our, we are measuring ourselves by the revenue and by the top line, and we we're continuously showing investors how we grow this top line and how we are getting there to start generating cash and uh, to create a sustainable business. 
what a way to go. It's a truly growth story right now. Um, has there been increased insight in ELSA from the market, from different geographies around the world, given the uh, use of drones in both combat and, as you mentioned, lots of different uses around mm -hmm. the world? So it's hard to say other regions because today we're literally working on uh, throughout the world from yeah. Latin America, Brazil and, and Colombia, over to North America, US and Canada, all wow. over Europe, Africa. Um, Asia Pacific, Australia, I mean, we literally have customers everywhere. almost everywhere. <laughs> yeah. So it's hard to say about new demands, but we definitely see new demands from clients that we never met before, yeah. from different industries, different regions, again, like you mentioned. Um, so we definitely see a very interesting trends moving there. Going back to the point that I made at the beginning, being in the center of the storm, which part of the storm might be in unfortunate circumstances, but we're trying to get the most out of it. Absolutely. Now, what do the next 12 months look like for LSAT? So, like I said uh, many times in this conversation already, um, the point at where we are currently at, I think we will be able to show to continuously show this growth that we're showing and even be more aggressive on that. Um, so I think it's very interesting for those uh, investors that want to be part of our journey, journey sorry, and, and to have an access, a broad access to this industry, and not only by specific drone manufacturer or this or that technology, but company that have a broad um, install base and broad uh, um, existence in, in this market, I think we are we can be a very interesting uh, target to look at, you know, and then it's based on the investors. You have Amitai, CEO of Elsite. Thank you so much for your time today. We hope you enjoyed that episode of From the Helm. If you did, why not subscribe to the Bell Direct YouTube channel to stay up to date with all market commentary, insights, and exclusive CEO interviews.